city here. Okay, we've got one of our units in pursuit right now, trying to get a vehicle stopped just by himself. We're gonna see if we can uh, get up here and help him out. Zebra 17, sign. Okay, we're coming up behind y'all right now. We're gonna get up there to set up some spikes, spike them. Get ready to deploy some spike strips up here. Uh, we're a few cars back right now. They're getting ready to spike. Got units right here. Zebra 17 clear. Spike's been thrown. We got a pursuit going on. We just threw the spike sticks. We're gonna see it and see if he got spiked right now. Pull him out. He just uh, he hit the spike strips. Um, his tires going flat. We're about four cars behind the the uh, the vehicle right now. He's hit the spike strips. Uh, he should be stopping. Any second, we'll try to take him into custody. Keep on the tire, we'll pull out of this station here. Everyone, we're at Decatur. In the uh, station parking lot now. kind of weaving a little bit and uh, change his lanes without using signals. So I'll go ahead and light him up there at Beach and Scott and uh, just kind of rolls through. We were a long ways off whenever you called out with it. I'm glad he wasn't going so fast. I know. <laughs> we finally caught up with you, yeah, which is good. I don't know where he, he lives on Rose, which is, I think, on the east side. I think so. So I don't know where he's trying to get to. Or he's just driving because he's drunk. He doesn't know where he's going. Northside units did a good job spiking. Y'all want to shackle him up? Yeah, let's get him shackled. Legs. Give me your legs. Bring them out. Because I said. He's tried to kick me three times now. So. Bring your legs out. You know what I got? Uh, what do you got? Don't do anything stupid. I said, don't do anything stupid. I gave you your chance, didn't I? I'll let go when you kick your leg out. <laughs> Yeah, it hurts. I know it does. It's supposed to. I'm not going to do anything. 
not treating your arms, pressure pulling. So I'll pull him across. Pull him across. Get across. Pull him across. When we got the vehicle up on north side, north side units did a good job spiking the uh, deploying their spike system out and uh, getting the vehicle hit on on this side. Blew out both tires. Once the guy felt his tires blew, he knew he'd been spiked. Pulled into this uh, convenience store parking lot. Put up a brief struggle on the side of the vehicle. We were trying to get him out. Uh, officer did a good job. Had to knock the wind out on this side to, in order to help us get the guy out of the vehicle. As a result, you know, all the glasses on the ground, but nobody got hurt. And all in all, it was a good chase. Good ending. We're going to investigate a suspicious auto, uh, possible drug activity. Our undercover officers are sitting in the vehicle right now. They've requested uh, uniform cars. We're behind the truck in front of turning northbound on region. Twenty-three. Did you say they're going to stop there? Right on your right. 7 or 21 traffic stop. 21 traffic stop. 1972 Clinty. Copy 1972 Clinty. He's, he's your passenger. You're, oh, you yeah, guys. Plate, Kentucky 072. Stuff down the street. I tell you what. Why don't you step out of the vehicle too, sir? Problem. Ah. Put your hands behind your back for me. 724, he does have 23 with him. Whose car is that? It's my fiance. Is there anything in there we should know about? No. Okay. You're in possession of the car. If anything's in there, then you know you could get charged with it. It's best to be truthful now. Go ahead and have a seat. Watch your head. 565 What's going on anyway? Like a murder case or what? No. We're just uh Central Ohio or Kentucky. Investigating something here, alright? Yeah, exactly. Do you have anything else in your shoes? Yeah. Good. Look this one up. Yep. Look this one up. Alright, good. Got a seat in the back of my car, right? Yes, sir. You're being detained for an investigation right now, okay? I think so, uh, Eric, one, two, six. Got off of work, so. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, actually, you're under arrest for a warrant. You have a warrant for your arrest. Okay. I do. A traffic warrant. Okay. Yeah. Right now, I'm searching for uh, any type of contraband. Looks like we got some. Uh, I don't know what this is at this point. Looks like tobacco. I don't know. What was your buddy smoking, man? Smoking some weed. We're smoking weed. Okay, well, where's the weed? It's gone. It's gone. What were you smoking it out of? Huh? What were you smoking it out of? Smoking out of a can. I didn't have the papers. Okay. How many bags you got? There's uh, two. Five plastic bags wrapped. I don't know if they're trying to sell tobacco. Why do you have tobacco wrapped in? I told your partner, I told your partner, uh, Campbell, I was going to keister him, go to jail, I was going to uh, keister him. <laughs> Campbell County's a non-smoking jail. So you were going to do Ke what? Keist, stick him up my Are you that addicted to cigarettes? That's a non-smoking jail, that's all, you know. It's, uh, it's tobacco. It's tobacco, well, I know, all right. Uh, Gentleman stated he was gonna he was gonna go to jail and that he was gonna uh, take it inside the jail internally. And you've never you've never taken tobacco in jail like that before? No. Well, I, I wasn't you, even sure I wasn't what, I wasn't even sure I was gonna get away with it. What gave I mean? you the idea to do that? I just heard of it, so we're gonna try it. <laughs> okay. You know, people, if they're going to jail, you know, they got habits and addictions. I don't know. Never... It's pretty drastic. It's an addiction, man. <laughs> 24, I'll be signaling two with the driver. 7 or 21, 35. 
Uh, we're responding to a bank for a subject inside the bank trying to pass a bad check. We got him, we got him. 21, you have traffic. Get in the bank. I got him on the bank. Custody. Spray. Assistance. Copy. Stand by. Watch your hands. Watch your hands. Watch your hands. I got it. Watch your hands. Quit resisting. I got it. 25. He's in custody outside the bank. There's been a spray. Copy a spray. Good job. Get up. I don't think I even hit him, but. You got anything on you shouldn't have, man? Uh, if you have cars responding here, tell them to slow down. He is in custody. Correct. Mm -hmm. well, keep that. It's crack. <laughs> is it? Yeah. He's bleeding too. This little bag is like phone. It's, I can't tell it's pipe. inside out, but it's phone. Pipe. I just threw a thing next to your shoe, Chad. Yeah, he's got broken glass in his pocket. Back up. Watch your head, man. Put your feet in first, man. Put your foot in first. Watch your head. How many IDs has he got? Three. All right, what happened inside? He tried to pass a bad check, and the bank was actually trying to call the company on the check to confirm that it was bad at the time that uh, he decided he was going to run. Did he just take off room when you guys approached yeah. him? No, no, we talked to him for a brief second, explained okay. him what we were talking to him for, and at that point in time, so we took off running. So why did you run, sir? I was scared. You were scared? Okay, what's that white powdery substance we got out of your pocket? Okay, what was that pipe for? You got a habit? Okay. All right, well, we're going to take you in the station and get you cleaned up, all right? All right. Was, was he in the front of the bank or was he more towards the back? He was, he was close to the back. Okay. Uh, the, uh, we've got to pick the back door. The, yeah, the chemical irritant seemed to take a good effect. Yeah. That's good. And uh, yeah, I'll get him in, get him cleaned up, and uh, we'll take him to jail. Cool. Yeah, I enjoy being a cop here in Santa Ana because it's a bigger agency than where I started out, and it gives me options to do a variety of things that I wouldn't have been able to accomplish in another agency, a smaller agency. I work the area of Santa Ana called South Coast. It's the one of the bigger areas and it's got a good mix of residential areas and industrial and businesses and we have a lot of apartment areas that are condensed and give us some work to do and keeps us busy. We're just going to check this alley, see if anybody's out hanging around and doing anything. They're not supposed to. Just an alley where we have a lot of graffiti and, and um, gang members hanging out, so. Let's go talk to him. How you doing? Pretty good. Can I have your, see your driver's license, registration, and proof of insurance? I don't have my driver's license on me. You don't have it on you? Okay, do you have any ID or anything? Nah, Just keep your hands up, it's okay. Oh. Is this your car? No, it's my friend's car. Okay. 345, I'll be out with one in the alley, if I can get a code one. Okay, um, wh where are you coming from? From right here, from Dukes. Okay, you're, you're on parole or probation? No. So your friend let you borrow the car? Si. Do you have a driver's license, or you, and you just don't have it with you? Uh, I don't have a driver's license. You don't have one? Okay, that's cool, man. You know what, I'm just gonna check and make sure you don't have any weapons so I can talk to you comfortably. If you don't mind, just step out of the car real quick. Just do it slowly so I can watch her. Go ahead and step out and just turn away from me when you get out. Just leave it where it is, it's fine. It won't go anywhere. Go ahead and turn around for me. 
Put your hand behind your back. There you go. Interlace your fingers for me. Spread your feet. Spread your feet. There you go. Got a pager too? Yeah. So you got a pager and a phone, huh? Yeah. What do you do for a living? Nothing. You just like to communicate or what? Nah. My girlfriend's always calling me. Oh yeah? Yeah. What's this, man? Foil. Foil? When was the last time you used heroin, dude? This morning? Where do you usually get it at? Friends. Friends? Mm -hmm. You got some generous friends. Do they hook you up or do they sell it to you? Nah, they hook me up. They hook you up? Yeah. So who are you visiting then? A friend of mine. What's your friend's name? Uh, Ralph. Where does Ralph live? Somewhere around at the end. Somewhere around? He's supposed to meet me here. What's in the car, dude? What do you think is in the car? I don't know. Hmm. You want to put them away? Yeah, we'll just throw them in the car real quick. So basically, um, right hidden in the seat, looks like we got a little dope. I'm just gonna check into it a little bit, but it's packaged up like dope, obviously. Looks like it's probably heroin. It kind of smells like it. So there's about 17 bindles in here. He's selling it by the amount and the packaging. And then he's got all his money, uh, not in any particular order, but just in his pocket. So it looks like he's probably selling dope. So we'll have to talk to him a little bit about that. Listen, those pages that are going off on my roof, making all that noise, we're gonna use my cell phone. We're gonna call them back. You think any of those people are gonna say, hey, drop it off here? Guess not. All right, well, we'll check. We got the phone. We'll call. We can. We can use his phone. Well, that's okay. Call him up. Tell him you're his girlfriend, and you want to know uh, where he like. No, I don't have a girlfriend. You got trick him. Well, you just got one. Who's they, anyways? What do they call you, dude? What do they call me? Yeah, what's up? This is Mario's girlfriend. Who's calling Mario right now? You called. You paged him. Is he helping you sell, or who's he selling for? Huh? So what What do you do for him then? You're paging him like it's an emergency, man. It's cool, man. He told me I could call you. How do you think I got his pager? He said that you would tell me it was everything that's happening. But he, you know, I just want to make sure everything's the same. He already told me. That way I'll tell him and I'll be straight after that. Is he making the drop or what? All right, so he is? Well, is he dropping it for you or are you giving it to him? You don't give out anything, you just pick up? Sweet, so then so then he's gonna start making some money now or what? Cause he's been broke. Are you gonna hook him up with some? All right. Hey, I just talked to your buddy, Robert. What do you think he told me? What did he tell you? He's waiting for you. So you're gonna start telling me what's going on or what? Huh? I'll keep calling people. You got people calling in. That's probably him right now. So what's the deal, man? You gonna you gonna cough it up or what? Cough what up? Tell what me, me tell me what up? you're doing here. Got, what, tell me what, what you're doing here. Say, tell me what, what you're doing what, with what the dope. Words you want to put in my okay, mouth? I wanna know. If you if you're selling it, are you selling it for the money? Are you selling it so you for can break you off? Use, for my own, own use. Yeah. So so he's cutting you a break. Cutting who a break? Like you basically you sell it and you keep whatever profits for yourself to use for yourself. I keep everything. Well, that doesn't sound right. I use it. I use. That's it. Nobody get let you have that for free. Okay. You obviously have to throw some money back to the, their way. Okay. And then he breaks you off a little something for your use, right? I stole. It. You didn't steal that stuff, man. Why are you messing with me? You really want me to go, go the Juan route? I just told you, I, I do it to you, that's it. Well, you don't get it for free and you didn't steal it. Yeah, but. Stop being so hardcore, man. I'm not impressed I'm not by that. I'm being hardcore, you know what I mean? I'm not. You are. No, I'm not. You think you are? I'm not. No, I don't. Well, just be straight up with me, man. I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm hardcore. I, I'd rather treat you like a man than I like am, a little thug. I'm trying to be a. What do you mean a thug? I ain't no thug. Come well, you're on. thinking you're all hardcore right now. I guess so. Nope. You know better. You've been around. You been know how around. it works. You know how it works. This isn't the yeah, first time you're in the backseat of a car. I know how it works. 
to a situation here of an unruly customer. This individual has come in the restaurant, he's had his breakfast, and then rather than leaving, he's uh, been disrupted. Now, when you start walking from here to there, I'll be right behind you. When you hear the buzzer of this shot timer, that's your signal that he has drawn a gun. React to that. All right. Crouch, take the fight to him. Right. Okay, put your eye on ear protection in place. Whenever you're ready, walk. Sir, Santa Ana police, need to see your hands. Okay, very good. Now we're going to do a simunition exercise. Now step over here, please. This is going to be your next target and stand right about there. In this situation, if the suspect were to pull a gun or knife on you, he's too far away to try for a takeaway. So what you've got to do is come out of the holster and shoot as fast as you can. The fastest way to shoot is one-handed because the gun doesn't have as far to travel. You're only bringing it out to here as opposed to here. So what I'm going to ask you to do is on the buzzer, draw your weapon and fire two shots one-handed as fast as you can. Obviously, you can stick the weapon out a little bit further this time because he's, he's beyond arm's length. All right. Whenever you're ready. Great. All right, once again. Great. 1.01 seconds for your first shot. And we'll do this to your out of ammo, okay. which will be pretty soon. Great. 1.32 seconds. That's it. You're done. Thank you very much, Sergeant Whip. Uh, we're checking this area. It's uh, got a lot of complaints of gang and narcotics activity, so we're going to take a drive through and see what's going on. And looks like we got something going on up here. Go get out and talk to these guys. Hey. Get your hands out. Let go. Roll around. Open your hand up. Let's see what did they do? What'd you do? Riding an unlicensed bike. <laughs> what does unlicensed? anybody do down here? No, no, okay, don't no. Get froggy, I'll break your Let leg. us do it. I'm not. Roll over and Open stomach. your hand up. Open your hand up. Okay. Roll over your stomach. Okay. Don't you worry about me. Hey, you, are you hey, I'm not going to do nothing wrong. Then, then quit so roll over your stomach. Quit Put your legs out behind you. Quit oh. stiffening up. Put your legs out behind you. Hey, I'm going to do it. Quit I'm stiffening cool. up. There you go. He did not want to play with us, so. I did want to play with you. Did I do you on parole, probation? Yeah. Well, yeah, you got a magazine. Well, Where's the gun, Slick? What's that? Where's, where's the, the gun? gun? What gun? Well, the magazine well, goes to it. Where's the gun? Uh -huh. Hey, yeah. I don't want to find the gun on you. I want you to tell me where That's the gun is. That's the clip that I had. We know it's a clip. I'm, I'm aware of what it is, Ken. I don't know what damn movie that I found. What happened? It's just a damn movie that I found. You saw a movie, so you had a... Uh, hold on. Get down. Right here, Sarge. Why do you do that? Right here, Sarge. All right. Hold on. I, well, I don't want to get it. It's right here. Holy shkamole. Mm, Watch nice, it, Dan. Nice it's cocked. Looks like it's cocked. Yeah, it's ready to go. He's got rounds yeah, in his pocket, too. Time. One in the chamber. You. We got uh, four extra ones. You on parole or probation? I already told you I'm not. Well, you told me you didn't have a gun either. Yes, you shield. did, didn't you? Oh, I'm sorry. You told me it was a Hold movie. On. You suck. Right. I don't Hold have on. anything else. I'm... Hey. Yeah. I'm hey, put that leg back over. Come here. No, come hey, here. Hey, come on. You guys are being very unfair. Nah. <laughs> Lying to the police is unfair. Carrying guns with the police are chasing you is unfair. Okay. Bring this way. You don't have to be harsh. I'm not going to be don't turn your face away. Don't look at him. You know, I don't know where you guys are treating me like that. I'm not a... Let's, let's get him up for a second. I got cheated, Sit I up. think. Check his shirt pocket. All right. Spread him out. Hey, come on, Spread dude. Spread him out. Like, hey. Who are you trying to act cool? Hey, where you know Power I'm, down. I'm Spread like... your legs out, then. Spread okay. your legs out. You, you're going to be cool? Spread them out. I am. More. 
I respect you guys. You, guys, you know, like if if you respect me, you know, I'm sorry I, I lied to you. You know, I don't usually lie, but was it respect about telling the truth? Is this, is this Somewhat, but is this... knock me around like that? Hey, What's, what the hey, hell is that? Come on, I respect you guys, and you guys hey. are treating me pretty. Is bad. this how you earn respect? Hell no, that that thing is is nothing to me. You know what I mean? It's not. Right. You... It's nothing. It's a deadly mistake. You're lucky tonight. It's pretty much uh, typical for a stop down here. You don't know wh what you're going to get, whether it's just beer drinking or uh, drugs or something more like a firearm. It's a, a pretty uh, cheap firearm, a Steyr uh, 45, but obviously it'll still kill you. It's uh, loaded uh, with uh, six rounds, one in the chamber. So it's a, it's a good ending. We got him in custody without any problem. Uh, he wasn't able to bring the gun into play, and everybody's going to go home safe. I'm originally from Huntsville, Alabama. I moved to Atlanta about five years ago. Recently got married and transferred over to Gwinnett County. It's, it's been a great change. It's a really good department. There's a lot to do. Mine is out here looking for drugs. The people that are involved in that kind of activity are the ones leading to uh, robberies, burglaries, approaching kids selling that stuff on the street. I like to do what I can to get rid of it. We're going to go check out one of our uh, apartment complexes here. We've got a lot of problems with uh, drugs being sold, people buying and selling. There's a lot of foot traffic in the area. So we're just going to see who's out and about tonight. Hopefully we'll run into something. It's dipping. Hey, man. Hey. <sighs> Move. He went, he went in the apartment here. Whose apartment is this? Yes, I live here. You live here? Yes, ma'am. Who yes, is that that just ran in? My own brother. Get him out here right now. Nine point two, are you from near what, Where are you at? Who? Cool. You live here? Yes. Okay, can we go find him, please? Just had a signal 80. I'm inside the apartment now checking. Pop up. Where's your ID? I'll stay here. Huh? I Why was you running from me just now? I wasn't now? running. Oh, you said he had dreads. I wasn't running. Turn around. Turn around. Baby. This is your son? Yes. Does he live here? No. He does not? No. Okay. 139, can you provide further? I'm inside apartment 14. The subject now I'm code for. How old are you? 22. Where do you work? Put your phone down. Put your phone down. Slip this jacket off. What's up, man? He was in the parking lot. He took off running. So, where's mom? Mom. No, you, you, you ran. I didn't run. You said he does not live here. When was the last time he lived here? Oh, yeah. He been in trouble with the law yeah, before? Yeah, of course he is. Okay. Yeah. Is he out here selling dope? Did you know of? Not that I know of. Where did he go when he ran in the door? Hmm? When he came inside the door just now? Did he come straight back here? Or yeah, because I was up in the kitchen. He came straight I, to this room? Yeah, and it, I, I thought somebody just busted in my door, and I was... Yeah. You know, what's going on? We're not going to leave until we find whatever it is you had here. So, I mean, I, I'm here until 2 in the morning. I, I'll stay here all night if I have to, okay? It's up to you if you just want to come clean and see what we can do for you. Okay? Just think about it. You ain't got to answer me right now. Get on the ground. What I tell you? Is there anything else in this room? Because we're going to keep looking, buddy. That's, you got us, huh? That's yeah, it? Yeah. 10-4. Johnny, Johnny, Johnny. And you have a warrant. Just by itself? Yeah. So he, you know, he's bringing this kind of stuff into your house, ma'am. What stuff? Come here. 
crack cocaine marijuana. And he's got a warrant. Now you. Hey, Ma, that's Monique on the phone. <laughs> it, it doesn't matter. I'm not answering that phone. Put that leg up. I'm gonna stand you up, okay? All right, we're gonna go ahead and go. I'm gonna go ahead. What do you need your hat for? You don't need your hat to jail, man. Come on. I don't want you to have it anymore. Have a seat for me. You don't think I can get a smoke a cigarette? Though. Smoke a cigarette? Yeah. No, no not I'll right wait. now. I'll wait. This stuff's bad for your health anyway. It is, but I ain't eat a D, This life, life's bad for your health. Life's bad for your health. It is if you're doing this kind of stuff. Well, you understand what's going on here tonight? All I know, he busted in my door. He busted in your door? Yes. Because I asked him, why are you coming in like that? He said, I got to use the bathroom. That's all. He was I was in the kitchen. He was in a hurry? It, it seemed that way to me. Yeah. Has he done this kind of stuff before? No. No. Never? No. Never. Ever. Have you known him to sell or possess drugs before? No. Never? Never. Okay. Well, tonight, we got about 15 grams of marijuana, 10 grams of crack cocaine, and about $300 in cash. He told me that he does this kind of stuff on the side. He sells it to make extra money. All this. Yeah, I mean, this, this isn't the he, first time he's been... Well, he's not brought up like that, and he knows that. Yeah, you didn't raise he him knows. that way, did you? No. I don't know. I've been a single mother all my life. He knows that. Everything I'm saying to you, he already knows. If I well, get evicted tomorrow, me and my kids don't have any place to go. I work hard for everything I got hey, in my apartment. You don't want him to come back, do you? I mean, tell him that, and we'll give him a criminal trespass from your apartment. Tell him that I don't want him to come back? Yeah. He knows that he can't come back here. Well, I, I just need you to tell him that in front of me so that I can witness that you told him that he's not allowed to come back to your property. Oh, that way, if, no, you come, if he comes back... To come back here. You, Johnny, d d come on, man. Talk, talk to her. Do you, do you understand what that means? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm hoping not, I'm hoping not meaning what I think it means. It, it means you're not allowed to come back to your mom's apartment what's, what's for that, any reason. I'm just, I'm just barred from these apartments. I can deal with that. You, you're barred from your mom's apartment, and you're going to be barred from the property after I talk to the manager. I mean, you understand what all he's going to be charged with? What is he going to be charged with? Well, I mean, the, uh, he's, he's uh, going to be charged with obstruction of a police officer because he ran from me. He bars in your your apartment like that. The possession of crack cocaine. Po the dough, man. That's, that's possession with intent to distribute. The possession of marijuana and abandonment of dangerous drugs. Okay because he threw all this stuff in your little girl's toy box. That's where he hit it. Well, it's summertime now in Vegas. We're hitting our triple digit mark. It's days like this where it's like to go home. My wife and I like to relax in the pool, take it easy. People are out here on the street a lot more now that it's warm. So our street crime is picking up quite a bit. Up here on the right, it looks like a man has just grabbed a woman. Right here. It's gonna be two times uh, Swenson. Come here, man. Come here. Get off the bike. Drop the bike. Step over here in front of the car. Right here. Right here in front of the car. Get your hands out of your belt right now. Step over the front of the car. Put your hands on it. No. The front of the car is right here. You two. Hands out in front of the car. So. You know why I stopped the both of you, right? Okay, I'm driving along. You look like you're grabbing onto him, he's grabbing onto you. We love it. You're on a bike. What's the story? You talk to me first. Okay. Come over here. We just lovers, you know, had a little splat. Okay. You're lovers, you had a brawl with her, or what was the story? No, we had a splat about something that happened. What? Okay? Something is about what? It, no, about a situation with somebody else that happened. She with another guy or what? No, someone. Okay, she okay. with another guy. You're upset about it, what happens next? Oh, uh, we started arguing all the way back. As we're getting closer to the house, she didn't want to go up. I was holding her by the waist, she was trying to push her away. You were holding her by the waist and she was trying to push you away. And that's what I saw right there. Yes, sir. Why would you be grabbing onto her waist like that? Because we had to get it together, you know? That's all. It's no big deal. But, you know, if she wanted to leave you or she no, wanted to go her no, separate no, no, ways, just... you don't need to be getting a hold of her hands, do you? Can I ask you a personal question? Sure. What's the story with the fingernail polish? Uh, just the fact of pictures. 
They come in, they come at you and they ask you, why are you bringing those black? So it's just a conversation piece for the most part, huh? You got it. <laughs> My electric bicycle. All right, that'll work. Leave it right here for a second. I'm gonna talk to her for a minute, yeah. okay? Come here, hon. Okay. okay you've been, you've been with another guy. And what happened? He's been a friend of mine for a long time. I understand that. And then, you know, what happened here before I saw what I saw? Tell so, uh, me he's going to take me, take me home and, and probably kill me. So he's going to take you home and kill you? He tells me right away he, he, he paints his fingernails that way to attract other females. And then he's upset with you. He's obsessed. He, he's upset and obsessed with you, apparently, due to the fact that uh, that you're with another, that you were with another man. Right. So he tells you he's gonna, yes. he tells you he's gonna take you home, and he tells you he's gonna kill you. And you obviously don't want to go that route. What happened? What I saw right here, that little scuffle. What was that all about? He's been, he's been. My neck should have marks on it. He's been pushing me, throwing his bike into me. The whole way, right? I feel threatened by him. Okay. I didn't know. I didn't know this is crazy. Put your hands behind your back, boss. Put your hands behind your back. Yes, sir. Love being with you. Yep. Battery domestic violence, sir. Did I hit you? Huh? Did I hit you? All right, I don't want you to talk to her anymore. Yeah, I got your side of the story. Person. I got her side of the story. Can you take my bike back and the bike home? Jump onto sure. the back here. I got the air conditioner. Okay, this, ma'am, this is your bag? Okay, you don't mind if I take a look through it real quick? And, you, and your ID is in here, right? Yeah. Okay. You don't have anything in here we need to be worried about? Contraband, needles? Husband. Who's your husband? Oh, you got a husband who's not, that's not your husband. That's your boyfriend. And you've been living with your boyfriend, though? But you've been trying to take care of your husband? What's the story? Does your husband have an illness or something like that? Or? Well, what's, his, what's his problem? He just slowed down a little bit. He just what? So you figure you'd step out on him and just... For basic physical needs and stuff like that, or yep. yeah. Yeah. Yep. And he's friends with my husband too. This guy is. Yeah. But he decided that he doesn't care about me anymore. This is the note that he wrote to me. This is the note that he wrote. Life is not what I see my vision too bad. He's been living with us for two, two, two and a half months. Oh, so he's been living with you and your husband. Right. Ah, so this is part of the weird triangle that's already inside the, the, the family unit there, inside the house. Am I right? Right. Well, you know, and I, I don't want to blame you for any of this, and, but, but at the same time, and I don't want to preach to you, but you might want to think about some of the decisions that you're making in your life. I know. You know, I mean, had you done probably what you know to be right in your own mind, things wouldn't have gotten to the point that they have today. You see what I'm saying? Yep. But I, I think he started probably getting super possessive of you as the relationship was built on. And then he finds out that you're out talking to somebody else, and he automatically thinks the worst. And the next thing you know, he's gonna, yeah. he's, gonna he's gonna kill me. Yeah. And he almost broke my neck. All right, hey, I got the lowdown already from her as to what's going on. Okay, you're friends with her husband, and you've been living with them. Hey, listen to me. All right. And, and you and her are having a relationship. Okay. Now, not only are your household or family members, you're lovers. Okay. You can't lay hands on one another. You know, if she ticks you off or makes you upset. You can't reach out and grab her. Grab her by the hair, grab her by the throat, grab her by the back of the pants, shake her like that. Okay. It looked really bad. The worst thing is, you know, how am I going to explain this to my friend? You mean her husband? I don't know if I got the answer for that. That's the worst part, you know? Yeah. Because he doesn't accept this. And he's a good friend of yours, and you've been messing around with his wife pretty much since you've been living there. And he didn't have a clue of anything that was going on. Was was tell me this was the story basically that they invited you into their home because you were a friend of theirs and they you kind of had no place to go. I don't know a way to pay him. I mean I didn't I didn't initiate it. It's still the same. 
You know, you 